Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Smith & Wesson M&P9 Shield EZ. A new release from Smith & Wesson. They just started distributing it. No great announcement or anything. And they did the same in February of 2018 when they released their 380 Shield EZ. But here it is. It mimics very much the same model features and so forth with the 380 except this is in nine millimeter and it's a little bit heavier both have a 3.675 inch barrel both have magazines that carry eight rounds but the advantage here is that it has a very light recoil spring very light trigger all right and you have to engage the grip safety there and a very light magazine spring okay and it does come with two magazines that carry eight rounds. Now, I'm at Top Gun Shooting Sports right now. They got early releases of these. They are selling these for $460. And I'm appreciative that they allowed me to bring this in and do this review and also go out and take a few shots with it. And I look forward to doing that because this is a very popular bottle. Now, this would be attractive for people that have arthritis maybe senior citizens maybe women maybe somebody with an injury i've had many people tell me that they had injured themselves or they had arthritis in the wrists and they had trouble racking the slide and charging guns of a higher weight with the recoil spring this is actually very light hence the ez now let's roll through some of the features and we'll check it out here because this also has the grip safety one of the things that you can't really tell but this is actually a hammered fire gun and it's a, it has an internal hammer that is in there you wouldn't know that because it looks like your standard striker fire gun but it's not it has a hammer and this is the thumb safety model all right so they make another one without the thumb safety this is the thumb safety right there and you can see that it is ambidextrous all right on both sides another thing is that it's the 2.0 model so it has some of the 2.0 characteristics which is the gritty grip all right which does offer three fingers by the way especially if i put that mag in there three finger contact on the grip you can see that it does have those scales down there i really don't consider those front serrations you know i i, I wish they would go all the way up the slide so they could actually serve as front serrations but that's part of the M&P line. It does have a steel insert right there, which I think prevents the gun from charging when a magazine, a loaded magazine is slammed in there. And a pick rail for the accessories. The three dot sights, right? They're, they're actually large dots, right? Quite large dots. The first time I, I checked this out, I was like, whoa, those are some large dots there. So they're, uh, they, they pick up quite easily. And the rear sight is adjustable pinned in front sight and a loaded chamber indicator bar right there that pops up when the gun has been charged and another thing the magazine spring weight is pretty light too right it does have these tabs here that you could pull the follower down and both of these are identical all right but the trigger is one of the things that a lot of people like they liked it on the 380 model and they're gonna like it here too once again you have to engage the grip safety and the trigger weight I, I measured the 380 model right at four and a half pounds and I think this is right around the same and you can see there there is a short reset right there so you have a, a light trigger you have a light recoil spring and you have light magazines it breaks down the same way as other m p models all right we just move this lever down release no reason to pull the trigger and off comes the slide from the frame polymer frame very light and here we have a captured recoil spring and your 3.6 whoop <laughs> oh that was that was slippy slippery this is a new gun and it does have some shipping grease on there but the, the one thing that is interesting is that this piece here, you can see that that is, you know, has a flat part there. We typically use, or we, we place the flat part down. In this case, the flat part goes up upon reassembled. Now, those who disassemble the gun, if you do not do this properly, it will not work. So I'm going to insert the 
recoil spring and guide rod. I'm going to do so with the flat parts on the side and that way when I insert back on and one more thing you cannot grip see you see the way that moves upon that piece right there raises so you can't do that and then what I'm saying is that you can't engage the grip safety when putting the slide back on and then there you go you manually do that but that's what we're looking at about 23 ounces unloaded all right and you know, overall people are going to enjoy this I, I truly think they will I know they enjoyed the shield uh, 380 easy and here's the nine which many people wanted this in nine and Smith and Wesson delivered so there it is, Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Shield EZ. Great thanks to Top Gun Shooting Sports in Taylor, Michigan. They have a bunch of these in stock right now, and they are available. They are very hard to find in other places. So if you're in the area and you're interested, check out Top Gun Shooting Sports. They've got a bunch, and I think you'll like it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.